So guys, welcome to our channel once again. In today's video on our work biology exam revision series, we have here these 10 questions to answer on the topic concept of living. So this video will be about the functions of cell and cell components. So in short to stay at the end of this video, as this is a very important one, let's go ahead and start with the first question here, which says, which of the following cell inclusion can destroy other cell organelles. We have A, mitochondrion, B, ribosome, C, central, D, lysosome. So guys, the answer to this question here is option D, and that's the lysosome. Lysosome is also known as the su suicidal bag of the cell, and that's a component of the cell or the cell organelle that is capable of destroying the other cell organelles. So let's consider the next question here. Question number two, it says, which of the following statements about ribosomes is not correct? Ribosomes A, release enzymes for the digestion of bacteria. B, are responsible for protein synthesis. C, contain a large amount of ribonucleic acid. D, are attached to endoplasmic reticulum. So guys, all the other options here listed here are actually carried out by the ribosomes apart from option A. So ribosomes are responsible for protein synthesis. They also contain a large amount of ribonucleic acid. They are attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. But guys, they do not release enzymes for the digestion of bacteria. So that's the odd option here, and that's the answer to this question, option A. So let's go ahead and consider the next question. Question number three here, it says, which of the following structures will not be found in the nucleus of a cell? A, nucleolus, B, centriol, C, lysosome, D, DNA. So guys, obviously the answer to this question is option C here, and that's the lysosome. So the lysosome, like I've mentioned earlier on, is the suicidal bag of the cell, and it's not found in the nucleus of the cell. It's actually within the cytoplasm. So that's the answer to this question, option C. So let's go ahead and check out the next question here. Question number four, it says... The fine adjustment of the light microscope is used to A. Focus the object under high power. B. Raise the stage upwards. C. Admit more light into the microscope. D. Focus the object under low power. So guys, the fine adjustment of the light microscope is actually used to focus the object under high power. And that's the answer to this question. Option A. So let's go ahead and consider the next question. Question number five here it says cells that utilize a lot of energy are characterized by the presence of a large number of A vacuoles, B ribosomes, C endoplasmic reticulum, D mitochondria. So cells that utilize a lot of energy guys are characterized by the presence of large number of mitochondria and that's because the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell so that's where energy is being released from so cells that utilize a lot of energy should have a large number of mitochondria so that's it for that question option d so guys let's consider the next question here question number six it says a student used the following step in testing for a non-reducing sugar, I added Benedict's solution to the sugar solution. I, I added dilute hydrochloric acid to the sugar solution and boiled it. I, I, I added sodium hydroxide solution to the solution in I, I and boiled it. I, V added Benedict's solution to the cold solution in I, I, I. So use the information above to answer this question. Why did the student add the dilute hydrochloric acid to the sugar solution 
in step two to a dry the sugar solution b increase the volume of the sugar solution c hydrolyze the sugar solution d oxidize the sugar solution so guys the answer to this question here is option c and that's to hydrolyze the sugar solution so during the test for a non reducing sugar hydrochloric acid here is usually added to hydrolyze the sugar solution so that's it for that question option c so let's go ahead and consider the next question question number seven it says Krebs cycle occurs in the A nucleus, B cytoplasm, C mitochondria, D ribosomes. So, guys, the answer to this question is option C, and that's the mitochondria. The Krebs cycle actually occurs in the mitochondria, and that's it for that question, option C. So, let's go ahead and consider the next question. Question number 88 says, Which of the following processes does not contribute towards growth a cell enlargement b cell differentiation c cell division d cell plasmolysis so guys the answer to this question here is option d and that's cell plasmolysis so guys during growth there is cell division there is cell differentiation actually there is cell enlargement cell diffusion and cell differentiation but guys, cell plasmolysis is not a process in growth. So guys, the answer to this question is option D. And that's it for this question. Let's go ahead and consider the next question. Question number nine here, it says, which of the following characteristics differentiates a palisade cell from a liver cell? The position of A, non-cell membrane and chloroplast, B, a cell wall and chloroplast. C, a vacuole and nucleus. D, a cell wall and cytoplasm. So guys, the answer to this question here is option B, and that's a cell wall and chloroplast. Actually, the palisade layer is found on the mesophyll of the leaf. So it's actually responsible for photosynthesis so there you will have the chloroplast and then you have a cell wall so that's what differentiates it from the liver cell out of the options given here so that's it for that question guys let's go ahead and consider the next and the last question that's question number 10 here it says which of the following structures are visible in the cell of a plant during mitosis we have a cell wall central and chromatids, B, homochromosomes, nuclear membrane, and spindle fiber, C, centrioles, chromatids, and molecules, D, chromosomes, nuclear membrane, and centromere. So guys, the answer to this question here is option A, and that's cell wall, centrioles, and chromatids. So that's it for that question, guys, and this is where we end this video for today. If you enjoyed this lesson, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not yet a subscriber. Also, if you have any specific question regarding this video, you can drop your question on the comment section below and we're ensure to give you a response. So finally, guys, we want to encourage you to join our YouTube channel community. We will post major updates on work examination. This will help you a lot even as you prepare for your work examination for the year. So you can join this community by hitting the join button below and we'll see you right there. Thank you once again for watching this video and see you on the next one.